This is problem number 24 from the August 2017 Algebra 2 exam. So we've got some, pe some people that are setting up a bank account for their daughter to pay for education. When she's born, they deposit an initial amount of $1,000, and it says that it pays 1.8% compounded annually. Beginning with her first birthday, they deposit an additional $750 <clears throat> into the account on each of her birthdays. So which expression correctly represents this situation, the amount of money after n years after their daughter was born? Now this is a bit of a tricky question because um, right off the bat you may think, oh, I'm going to be using the compound interest formula, right? Um, which you see I, I can ri I've written down here, where A is the final amount, P is the principal amount, R is the, the interest rate, in this case it would be 1.8%, so 1 plus 1.8% would be 1.018 as a decimal, and n being the number of years. Um, so instinctively, we might look and see as option 1 or 2 as the correct solution. Now, that's actually not the case in this situation, and that's because the initial amount, or the principal amount, is actually ch changing each year because they're adding more money, an extra $750, into the account each year. So that's actually going to change the amount of interest they're collecting each year. In other words, when you look at options one and two, you can see that the $750 being added in is basically, since it's a separate term, it's like a separate entity as if it has nothing to do with the amount of um, interest being calculated each year, which, I mean, doesn't make sense, right? Each year, that extra $750 they're adding should mean that they're getting more more um, interest each year. So options one and two don't make sense. Three and four make more sense. You can see they both have the starting initial value of $1,000. And then they're saying to find um, the amount of money after n amount of years, you take a uh, sub n minus one, which means take the amount from the previous year, multiply it by the amount of, or the compound interest rate, and then you add, well, either just $750 or 750 multiplied by the number of years. So which one of these is correct? Well, it's option number three. And that's because in the formula, we're multiplying the interest rate by the amount that's already in there from the previous year, and then adding $750 to it. If you were taking the amount from the previous year, multiplying it by the interest rate, and then adding $750 times the number of years, well, that means that they're adding more than $750 each year. For example, in the fifth year, it would suggest, it would imply that they're adding in uh, 750 times five, which is $3,750 in, in the fifth year, which we know is not true. We know that they're only adding $750 each year. So it's option number three as the correct one. So I hope that made sense. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.